Hello my dear students. Today I am going to discuss the topic generation of conventional and renewable energy sources. This is the second lecture of subject power system 1 branch electrical engineering semester 5th IKG PTU Kapurthala. So in this topic we are discussing the generation of conventional and renewable energy sources. Conventional means also you can say it's a non-renewable energy sources and renewable means you can also say it's a non-conventional energy sources. So first we discuss broadly classify the energy sources. Energy sources are classified generally two, two part. First, in, first one is conventional sources of energy or this is also known as a non-renewable non 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 sources of energy and second one is non-conventional sources of energy and it is also known as a renewable energy sources of power. So when we will go in the case of example, the main conventional energy sources we have are like coal, crude oil, natural gases, nuclear fuels and sometimes it's a hydroelectrical power also where we use hydropower after generating the power we use as a the water of uh, the trail of water as a irrigation purposes and the second part is non-conventional energy sources and this is the sun like solar power wind like wind power waves like waves power, tides and waves are same tidal power. One power is also available in sea like ocean thermal energy conservation OTEC, energy from earth core like geothermal energy and hydroelectric power in different places of the uh, countries like northeast as well as Himachal and different different rivers located in India. So for the covering of this topic we have some reference book. So the main book is written by Renewable Energy Sources by Professor G. D. Roy, Generation of Electrical Power by Professor B. R. Gupta and you can also refer the book Power System Engineering by Professor J. S. Dhillan, I. J. Nagrat Kothari and D. P. Kothari sir. Power Systems by C. L. Badwa also. One book also available, reference book is Power System by writer Professor M. L. Soni Gupta sir and Bhatnagar sir. So we will go further for this topic, we go on our second slide. Here, the generation of conventional energy first. So, first of all, what is the meaning of conventional energy sources? The conventional energy sources define when we cannot reuse a sources of energy after using it once, we call them conventional sources of energy. These includes coal, crude oil, natural gases and nuclear energy. But the main content of conventional power, crude oil, coal and natural gas accounts for 90% of world production of commercial energy and hydroelectric and nuclear power accounts for only 10% of the overall energy. In India, 70% commercial power generated by coal based thermal power plant. We know that various NTPC National Thermal Power Corporation Limited sites are located in different places across the country and its contribute the 70% of commercial power generated by coal based thermal power plant. Thermal power plant also we use a gas power plant in NTPC and we also use a thermal Hydro, co uh, hydro coordination. Uh, one power plant is located in thermal uh, NTPC and NHPC in uh, Bilaspur, Himachal Pradesh. Then the deposit of crude oil in our country is quickly exhausting and it if continuous there will be soon complete exhaustion of all the conventional sources of energy. It means जब हम बात करते हैं कन्वेंशनल एनर्जी सोर्सेज की तो हमें पता होना चाहिए कि हमारे पास जो कन्वेंशनल एनर्जी सोर्सेज है वो या तो कोल है या क्रूड ऑयल है या नेचुरल गैसेज है या सम पार्ट ऑफ लाइक न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट हमारे पास कुछ अवेलेबल है इंडिया में बट मोस्टली 90% परसेंट 
are based on either coal oil or gases natural gases so we know that the uh, energy sources of the conventional like coal natural gases and uh, crude oil are limited and it may be exhaust if we are consuming day by day in future so after 10 to 15 years it's totally exhausted if we not design the alternatives the overall energy is suddenly collapse so after the complete exhaustions of exhausting of conventional power we have to move the overall energy sources to renewable energy sources so the second part of this topic is renewable energy sources when we will go, go for that renewable energy renewable energy often referred to as clean energy comes from natural sources or processes that are constantly replenished types of renewable sources are explained after before that i explain you when we use conventional energy sources the lots of pollutions and carbon emissions will be there so it's also affect the our environment like it's generate co2 so2 and uh, also develop the heat heat losses in our environment so it's affect the global warming cases also it's affect the uh, greenhouses gases also and when these contents will came after the using of conventional energy sources it's very harmful for some species they are suddenly going to uh, eliminate in our society due to that so we go for the clean power and natural power so we have to develop and research in the field of renewable energy sources to use much as much possible to uh, fulfill the overall load capacity so jab hum dekhenge ki renewable energy sources kya kya hai to jab hum renewable energy sources ke bare mein jayenge to aapko main bata du world mein ek country hai we have a country named denmark जहां पे 90 परसेंट जो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी है वो हम लोग विंड पावर से वो लोग यूज करते हैं सो द डिफरेंट कोस्टल एरियाज ऑफ इंडिया लाइक कक्ष कक्ष तमिलनाडु एंड डिफरेंट प्लेसेस ऑफ इंडिया आल्सो हैव ए पर्टिकुलर जनरेटिंग प्लांट ऑफ विंड पावर एंड आफ्टर द development of a new department new ministry in india indian government like a new renewable energy sources ministry of new renewable energy sources then the different types of research are occur in the field of renewable energy sources we have explained some of them like are those are mostly used at that time first one is we discuss the solar power plant so india we have different different solar power plants in different places like uh, rajasthan desert area of rajasthan and rooftop solar power plants for public uses are also implemented some places in punjab and the state electricity board collab with the uh, residential uh, users and uh, institutional users institutes academic institutions as well as the small industries like petrol pump like um, uh, um, ministry of uh, uh, small enterprises they also uh, develop some uh, solar power plant in their industrial rooftop and uh, generate the electricity by solar power then the second is wind power when you will go the different uh, places of uh, coastal area like tamil nadu kerala uh, andhra and uh, gujarat you can see that different wind power stations are available and uh, in jaisalmer also in desert areas of rajasthan also having some wind power plant next one is biomass biomass where we use the dung of animal dung to develop the gases for cooking purposes and this is the hydrogen fuels hydrogen fuels also used right now but it's a limited right now next is geothermal the, then the main thing is that in your mind where you use the geothermal power plant when you are going to hilly areas like himachal and uh, jammu and kashmir and different places of no south and northeast we have a particular hot water springs are available and we know that the temperature of uh, 
water required to generate the steam is near by 100 degrees celsius then the steam will generate it we using superheated steam in our thermal power plant so the equation is ms delta t where delta t is the rate of change of temperature so we require less heat of amount to, uh, to generate the steam by using these waters available by geothermal uh, pondage because the level of temperature is near about 60 to 70 degrees celsius so it's less amount of rate of change of temperature required to generate the steam by using these waters and the next is ocean ocean having generally three powers first one is tidal we know that the due to the electro sorry magnetic field affected in the when the full moon and no moon uh, the tide will available high low high tide will available so during that high tide we have a different mechanism to generate the electricity by using a different types of turbines and uh, this is the wave power wave power means a continuous wave in uh, ocean so we can also use a uh, uh, electricity by using these wave powers and uh, the main use of tidal power plant is when you will go for the tidal power plant the application of tidal power plant we use a small uh, head hydro power plant mini hydro power plant in coastal area when high tide will came the water came from the uh, ocean will enter into the dam and after it will release by using a pen stock and where we connect the uh, hydro power uh, hydro turbines uh, to generate the electricity and the last one is this is called the thermal thermal means we having a ocean thermal energy con uh, conversion we have a when you will go 100 kilometer uh, sorry 1 kilometer depth in the steam that 4 degree temperature will be rise when we are when we are going uh, low as low in ocean the temperature of water will rise it's a natural phenomena occur in the ocean next is hydro power plant hydro power plant in different places like uh, rural areas we discussed in previous lecture where we discussed the microgrid so microgrid we can use a small hydro power plant like a micro hydro power plant bulb where we use bulb turbine to generate the electricity by using micro hydro power plants so these are the overall generation generating stations but according to your syllabus when you will go for your syllabus it's about only 20 to 25 minutes to discuss these topics generation of conventional and renewable energy sources so you have to discuss only the overall brief of these powers when you are going for other subject like renewable energy sources as an elective in your fifth semester and the seventh semester when you are studying non-conventional energy sources where you discuss where we discuss the details about the solar energy how it will work these advantages and decisions but in this syllabus in this syllabus or power system one it's a small part so you can just discuss the types of uh, renewable energy sources as well as conventional energy sources and their applications advantages and disadvantages only are not no need to discuss more than that in this particular subjects so for next slides this is the indian renewable energy at a glass total installed capacity because when uh, maybe uh, objective questions it may be asked in your uh, main paper the overall generating capacity by renewable energy so here we discuss according to the Indian renewable energy sources given by a ministry of new renewable energy sources and the partition of uh, different different sources like wind power we have a 67.59% uh, solar it's around 7.04% and a small hydro power plant it's around 12.59% bio power plants it's made 12.78% so it is the uh, percentage by by bifurcation renewable energy constitute means this is the pie chart of the renewable energy sources available in india but the overall energy when we discuss regarding the overall energy the overall power in india is nearby 12.83 percent generated by renewable energy sources it means we are still using nearby 87 percent totally depend on the conventional energy sources hum jo conventional energy sources use kar rahe hain us pe hum zyada depend hai when day by day hum is wale parts ko enhance karenge iske field mein hum research karenge development karenge aur isko promote karenge promote promotions already given by the ministry of renewable different types of subsidy available to establish the small hydro small solar power plant in your rooftop by government of india and after the research in the field of semiconducting material the cost of solar power plant is very low as compared to previous because the control unit is totally based on the aesthetic devices 
so it's going to day by day cheaper so after the research some time of research we need to increase the level of generation by renewable energy sources to protect the electric uh, protect the deploying of energy in future so according to the topic the questions came in universities like you the uh, uh, university ask you uh, explain the different types of renewable sources briefly explain the different types of renewable energy sources and uh, uh, it's also a write a short notes on generation of conventional and non conventional energy sources uh, maybe questions came like a generation of renewable sources and renewable sources also the question came is uh, like especially they may ask the working principle of solar power plant maybe they may ask for two or five numbers and uh, and different different they also ask the what is the principle of pv cell maybe ask but according to my point of view these questions are based on the deeply study in the renewable energy sources subject as well as non conventional energy sources so they didn't ask such type of questions they ask generally uh, uh, write short notes on generation of conventional non conventional sources or they may ask two or uh, more than two number two number questions like explain the types of renewable energy sources and non renewable energy sources and the difference between them may they may ask you what is the difference between renewable energy sources and non renewable energy sources so you have to prepare like that and if you any uh, query regarding these topics i will clear a special classes after the completion of each unit so don't you have to bother about it you just go for the lecture and after that uh, i suggest you especially for these students those who are want to work in the field of electrical engineering because renewable energy is the part of research in current scenario so you will go for deeply study by the book refer renewable energy sources written by dr g d rai professor g d rai it's explain each and everything very well so you can refer this book and for conventional energy sources you will go for generation of electrical power by professor b r gupta it's a very beneficial you will go for these books uh, uh, after that if you have any problem you may ask my chat box sir these are the problems occur during my study i will clear all these doubts no issue and if you are electrical engineering especially ikg ptu or other universities you may you may subscribe my channel because after uh, the first com first unit completion of this subject i will also go for different subjects of your curriculum in third semester fifth semester and seventh semesters maybe different university have these subjects in different semesters so don't you bother about it till the end of 15th october i will complete overall syllabus of electrical engineering of ptu then before commencement of your examinations or maybe diwali i will cover all the syllabus of all the universities in electrical engineering because we have a three to four members also my colleague my juniors my seniors they also cooperate in different subjects like control system power electronics and different different subjects. so you don't have to bother about it i will clear all the topics point by point your syllabus cover a topic by topic in a one channel this channel is complete engineering solutions by me so don't you bother you purchase my channel make some likes if you like my lectures also give some feedback how to improve the lectures when i discuss the numerical subjects like control systems and circuit analysis i will give you thorough on pentab so it's a numerical based topic so i use pentab to record my lecture so don't you worry you have to go to expend 15 to 20 minutes per topic it's not a long time when you have free time you can read it or see it carefully thank you